Hello you guys, so the celebration you have seen is actually the joy of Vladimir Kramnik after ending the 20 years reign of Garry Kasparov. Now regarding the match, it was a round 10 of world championship match in 2000 versus Vladimir Kramnik and Garry Kasparov. Now for the spoiler, it was 16 round games in which only 2 games ended in a decisive and the rest of the 14 games were drawn. Let's just straightly dive into the game and let's see how Vladimir Kramnik ended this game in only 25 moves. Kramnik has the white pieces and he opens the game with d4. We have knight f6, c4 and e6. Now here white can play many variations here. You can play knight to f3 which is the east Indian defense. You can play knight to c3 which can lead to Nimzo Indian defense up to bishop to b4. And you can even play g3 which is a track over variation. Let's see how the game goes. So we have knight to c3, inviting bishop to b4 for the Nimzo Indian defense and it actually happens in the game. We have bishop to b4 and we have e3. Now instead of e3 you can do many things here. You can play a3 which is a Samish variation. You can play queen to c2 which is the classical variation. And you can even play g3 which is actually a Catalan type of structure. So let's see what's happening in the game. We have e3 with the clear intention of going bishop to d3 and we have castles and we have bishop to d3 then we have d5 and then we have knight to f3 and then we have c5. Now with knight f3 and c5 the game has transposed into Ragozin variation. So let's see how the game goes from here. We have castles and we have c takes on d4 and then we have e takes on d4 and d takes on c4 and then we have bishop takes on c4. So most of the central pawns are being traded. Now we have b6. With the b6 the game has transposed into Karakhan defend the pan of attack. Now we have bishop to g5 and then we have bishop to b7. Rook to e1, knight to b to d7, rook to c1 and rook to c8. Now all of the moves are the booked moves and the Vladimir Kramnik plays queen b3 which is actually a new move in this position. So let's see how the game goes from here. Now here the position is a bit tricky. Let's say if you play bishop takes on f3 to mess up the white spawn structure, white just can just play queen takes on b4. And if you just play uh, bishop back to b7, then we have knight to b5 and white is gaining a good advantage here. As Kasparov is trailing the tournament, he has to keep more pieces on the board as he can. So he plays bishop to e7. And then we have bishop takes on f6 and we have knight takes on f6 and then Kramnik plays a brilliant move, bishop takes on e6. Let's see if the engine says it's a brilliant move, let's see. Yes, the brilliancy by Kramnik. So let's see how the game goes from here. Now after f takes on e6 and queen takes on e6, if you try to keep your bishop by playing rook to f7, then it is a big blunder after knight to e5 because you just can't defend everything here and, and it's just losing so let's see how the actual game goes so we actually have queen takes and after queen takes the king moves from h8 now we have queen takes on e7 then we have bishop takes on f3 maxing the white pawn structure then we have g takes on f3 then we have queen takes on d4 then we have knight to b5 now here Kasparov has to find the extremely difficult move queen to d3. Now what queen to d3 do is actually an inverse of what happens in the actual game and let's see in that variation what the queen d3 does. So here after knight to b5 we have pawn takes on b2 and then we have rook takes on c8, rook takes on c8 then we have knight to d6. And then we have rook to b8 and then we have knight to f7 check, king to g8 and then we have queen to e6. And then we have rook to f8 and if you are thinking this is a smothered mate after check, king move and here. He doesn't have to take with the rook, he, he just can take with the uh, knight and it is not a smothered mate. Now let's come back to queen to e6. After queen to e6 we have rook to f8 and then we have knight to d8 check and then we have king to h8 and after queen to e7 Garry Kasparov resigned. 
because he can't do anything he's losing a material here let's see if you just play rook here this is a mate and let's say if you do anything you can't go even there because this is a mate let's see if you just block here this is the mate so the only defense it has is actually to go to d7 but you're just losing a knight so that's why Gary Kaspar resigned now in the same position if the queen d3 was played this queen to e6 was not possible because of queen check and if the queen moves just grabbing a knight but it was extremely hard to find this queen to d3 moves but kudos to Vladimir Kramnik for stealing the title from Gary Kasparov and ending the 20 years of reign.